What no expat question time this week? Well, there is and there isn't. Um, I've been making more videos related on questions that people have been putting up on the different posts and actually generating a new video on that topic, which I think is actually um, more useful for many people. But I know a lot of people would like to have some one to one engagement. The problem I've got is the internet in La Mata is probably one of the worst on the planet. Um, yeah, it probably is. Um, I'm stuck because the up speed I simply can't get to a level that is ideal for anything. It's basically terrible. It's not fast enough for even the audio work. Unless I, well, here's a question: rather than see my pretty face, um, would people be interested in me doing it with just a picture here? And then the rest is like on a podcast form where basically I'm just talking because I can get that down at 30 kilobytes, um, which is sort of down here. Because I know not everybody's computer literate, and I'm not trying to, but 30 kilobytes is down here. But for good video, it needs to be like 1.5 megabyte up here. My internet doesn't even come with that when it does work properly. But 30 kilobytes, I could probably squeeze. So. If we're okay for that, I'll actually do it with a podcast. But if people say, "Well, I want to see your handsome face every day," when you know when you do these things, then okay, I'll leave the camera on. Well, I'll just when I build it to the question times. Um, but I'll let's see see what feedback we got. If we get enough people saying, "Yeah, we don't mind seeing your your face," um, well, sorry, we don't want to see your face. We just want your audio. Then I'll get that set up for next week, uh, and I'll actually schedule it in today so that everybody actually knows when it is because uh, I'll be honest with you I'm so disorganized with this stuff um, because I'm trying to get things running right and to do it I'm like I'll try this I'll try that and then what happens is everything ends up in the air because I'm doing so much at the same time the other side of this being that we're looking at office premises at the moment so we may end up with a location we can move to later um, which already has an 18 meg broadband which will get around this problem without too much hassles. Another thing I wanted to discuss this week was signing up on this uh, Patreon. As you can see that's that's my YouTube channel page um, and before people go oh this is the business this is the business which I keep hearing on other people's uh, YouTubes this is not a business, it's actually costing me time at the moment, which I should be dedicating to other stuff. But what I'm looking at doing when this eventually loads, as you can see, my high speed internet is whizzing along. Um, now you understand the problems I'm having. Um, and it's still loading. And it's still loading. Is my brother in law is in Cebu. He lives there with my sister-in-law um, and their daughter now one thing I can utilize Aga for is actually doing videos in the Philippines now this is where I've actually put it in here there you go is to actually buy a camera for um, Aga because Aga travels around a lot anyway on a motorbike but it also means that we could actually say, Aga, um, on Sunday, could you go and do a video on whatever it is? Maybe it's the Cebu um, Synalog. Because the, th the thing we've got, we've got quite good connections for getting into places where other people struggle to get in there as well. Um, but we can actually utilize a camera. Now, you probably think, well, Matt, why don't you get your own cameras? You've got enough there. You're right, I do. Um, and I would have sent my camcorder, but when we were driving between Paris and Barcelona, we stopped off at this uh, motorway services and let the kids play at the play park. And then we drove off. Now, the only problem I had is I left the camcorder on the roof of the car, and that was the last time I seen it. <laughs> so the one thing I don't have is actually a spare camcorder. That's the first thing. The second thing being is because of the corruption with the uh, customs officials in the Philippines, I don't want to be sending one through the mail. 
So the only way to do it is actually buy one in the Philippines. So this is why I'm saying, okay, if if people want more videos on the Philippines, then we could do we're getting a, another camcorder for Aga to actually use, and we can utilize Aga to drive around and do some interesting stuff for us. And it can map out some of the tourist sites and all this sort of stuff, which will be good for him as well, you know, because I'll, I'll tap him into the revenues generated on the um, uh, YouTube channel. So he actually um, should make a little bit of money off it. Because at, at the moment, I'm, I'm not talking about other people's wages, but let's let's. He's not he's not a wealthy guy. Let's put it that way. So. If we could actually generate a little bit of income for himself out of this, this would be that'd be fantastic to help him and his young family. So this is one of the things I was looking at for this. Um, so I'm just saying, I mean, the minimum I'm asking is like a dollar a month. That's only if you want to donate towards these projects. If you don't, don't bother. Um, but I also say, don't whine about it. You know, I don't want to hear you say, oh, most trying to run this as a business. I, it's not a business. At the end of the day, we have running costs, etc. And getting a new camera for Ago has probably set me back three hundred dollars. So you're looking at that plus going to these venues in your spare time. You've got the fuel of his motorbike, etc., etc. So you've also got to look at the fact that we've got to send him there. He's not actually wanting to go there himself. It's because of our channel. So from that point of view, I would say look be realistic if we want to do this we can do it if we don't we don't but i was just thinking the other day that it would be a good project um because it would give us somebody that's actually in the philippines that could travel around for us so i've got a few things to think about a do we want uh, me to do podcasts more than my beautiful face um so that we can actually carry on with the question times uh b should we get a camcorder uh for aga a uh, lot says Aga. This isn't Aga asking or anything. And it's basically it was an idea. I thought, well, uh, Aga could do this on a weekend or something to actually generate a a little bit of revenue for himself. But B, it gives us a resource that can go and find bits of information people would love to know. Because a lot of the stuff, the the reason it's relative on the channel, you see, is although going to the uh, Pier 1 at Cebu, for example, somebody may ask, well, where? how do I get a ferry? And they'll go, okay, well, this, send him down there because one person asked that question, a thousand people might find it useful, which is why we do this, because it's going to cost us more money to send him down there in the first place, but over a year or whatever, we may actually recover the cost of the fuel of the motorbike. But the idea being that it's supposed to be helpful you know this is the whole idea of this I don't sit here for the sake of it I, I do it to try and you know share information etc um, I mean what I'm worth on a normal day rate work-wise is for a company up to seven hundred and fifty eight hundred dollars a day so you can see that me doing YouTube videos doesn't really pay I should actually be working but I'm more interested in A, sharing the facts of information I already have, B, I want to do more of this type of work and move away from the corporate life because I've done it, tired of it, and looking for something more interesting in my life. And I love traveling. So once this Spain bit's done, we may be buying a boat and heading off to the uh, Jamaicas or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point here is that this is only a uh, snippet of our life. You know, it's going to progress more and more over time. Same as equipment's progressing slowly. Uh, what you can't see at the moment, you might even hear it though, is my audio has improved because I've now put things on a mic stand which previously we didn't have. Um, so, like I said, I invest more money than we actually make. But the whole point is it, it actually improves the quality of the videos on an ongoing basis. But anyway, this is the question time, but not question time. But the big question is, 
is everybody happy with podcasts? Because I'm quite happy to do podcasts. If it, you know, if people are okay with that, I'll go with it. You know, because it's much easier for me to do podcasts as well. By the way, because I can sit and do a podcast in the car, for example, um, rather than needing to be in an environment. Because sometimes I'm out and about, but it's not the best location for video. But it could be ideal to do, sit there and do a podcast while I'm sitting pondering the world. All right, thanks for watching.